Little Fish, directed by Rowan Woods, is a tragic, poignant Australian drama that addresses how drug abuse can consume lives. The acting is the main attraction in this quiet, slow-paced film, and Little Fish features virtually every big name in Australian film and television. These actors deliver compelling performances, and Blanchett and Weaving occupy roles that are vastly against type. Footage of three children frolicking at the beach bookends the film, but the faded, grainy appearance of these two scenes suggests that such happiness is a distant memory, as drugs have cast a permanent shadow over the now adult Hart family. Kate Blanchett stars as Tracy, a recovering heroin addict who dreams of becoming an owner of the video store she works at. Attempting to move on from her tumultuous past, which included an overdose, Tracy now wants stability and responsibility in a small, humble way. Though she has good intentions, Tracy and the people around her are locked in the same self-destructive patterns. Tracy plans to become an owner of her DVD store and expand the business into online gaming, but the banks deny her the required loan due to her criminal record, lack of collateral, and her poor history of repaying debts. Much like an addict who spends whatever money he can get on drugs, Tracy spends beyond her means and lies about getting her loan. You didn't get it, did you? But son of a bitch told me that I would get it within three months. We're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it. They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me and I don't care anymore. Her brother Ray, Martin Henderson, who lost his leg in a drug-influenced car accident, is also a former addict, but he's now getting involved with Brad Thompson's, Sam Neill, drug enterprise. Sam Neill has a distinguished, wealthy persona with menace lurking beneath, but is more low-key and Aussie than Damien in Omen 3. Tracy rekindles her relationship with Johnny Newen, played by Dustin Newen, also a recovering addict, who has returned from Vietnam with a job as a stockbroker. To Tracy's dismay, Johnny actually turns out to be a drug dealer. As the plot moves along, it is quite depressing to see Tracy's plans for a rewarding career and a new life with Johnny unravel, and Tracy maintains our sympathy for the entire film. Tracy was initially so hopeful, and the profitable drug deal she takes part in with Johnny and Ray reveals the lengths she is prepared to go, or sink to, in order to achieve her goals. Though Tracy tried to escape her past, she tragically ended up returning to it. There is a definite sense that Tracy's history of drug abuse has damaged her, and this inner trauma is conveyed by Blanche's appearance alone. Though pretty, she looks anxious, weary, and somehow strained. A recovering drug addict is a major leap from her pure, regal roles, such as Queen Elizabeth I or Galadriel, and Blanchett pulls it off magnificently. The rest of the performances are strong, particularly the commanding Noni Hazelhurst as Tracy and Ray's harsh yet caring mother, Janelle, but the most powerful and affecting performance by far comes from Hugo Weaving. Weaving is virtually unrecognizable as Tracy's stepfather, Lionel Dawson. Once a rugby legend, Lionel is now an addled, washed-out junkie who depends on Tracy to take care of him and Brad to supply him with heroin. Lionel regrets the fact that his addiction has come between him and his family, as he loves Tracy, Janelle, and Ray, but kicking a drug problem is much harder than closing your eyes and making it so with the power of your mind. Though Lionel is rather pathetic, he is a decent man, and you hope he can get his life back on track. Lionel's story is even more heart-wrenching than Tracy's, as when Lionel tries to quit, Weaver superbly displays the desperation and agony of a man going through withdrawal. Moreover, Lionel's failure to commit and overcome his addiction is deeply disappointing for the viewer. Hugo Weaving is a fantastic actor, and Little Fish is undoubtedly one of his greatest performances. My only problem with Little Fish would be the romantic relationship hinted at between Lionel and Brad. This is a vague addition to the plot that doesn't have much of a point. Slow-paced yet engaging, Little Fish offers a hard-hitting glimpse of how drugs can affect families in lower-class areas. In a film that focuses on people and their poor decisions, the acting is flawless, and Hugo Weaving is a revelation. Little Fish earns four and a half stars out of five. Thank you for watching. Cheers.